Williams will soon descend on New Orleans for her heiress tour. But two weeks from her first concert in the Superdome, some are finding out that the rooms that they booked have been canceled. And Jacob Bradford has this Fox 8 Defenders report. This can't happen to other people. Like, this is disgusting. Lisa Seidler is from the Philadelphia area and is planning on coming to New Orleans with three friends to see Taylor Swift. We're trying to figure out where we would stay. We wanted to do something that's like charming New Orleans-y, but also close to the Superdome so we could walk. They chose the Lafayette Hotel downtown. According to their confirmation email, they booked a room from the 24th through the 27th for nearly $2,600. Seidler says she made this booking in August last year. A few months ago in July, Seidler says she heard rumblings of a change in ownership at the hotel and says she called to make sure her booking was okay. I called and said, hi, just want to make sure I'm good to go. Like, do you need any payment? I'll do whatever I need just to confirm I'm good to go because I didn't want to end up here. She says she was told she was all good to go until 2 o'clock Thursday afternoon. This email came in from Casa Living saying Lux Urban no longer owned the hotel and it was now under Casa. In the email, Casa says her reservation needed to be rebooked. She says she called and was told her price was now $1,000 more. It's a slap in the face, and they say I understand, but my question to them was if I didn't check my email at 2 o'clock on a Thursday afternoon, a week and some change before my reservation, I would have shown up here after traveling all day to then be forced to pay $4,000 or to figure something else out because they double booked my room. We came down to the Lafayette Hotel on St. Charles Avenue to get some answers, but we were told to talk to the operations manager. We left our information with him, but at this time we have not heard back. I didn't even ask for my money back. Like I just wanted them to match my price. They told us that essentially if you need your money back to deal with Lux Urban and the phone number they gave us was disconnected. We called a number on Lux Urban's website and were told someone would be in touch and to leave our information. We did and have not heard back. Seidler says even with this headache, she has met great people in New Orleans who stepped up to help a fellow Swifty. This happened at 2.08 yesterday afternoon and at 3.30 today, I have a place to stay from some local woman who reached out and was like, I have an extra property. I'm now paying $2,000 less than supporting a hotel. And I quite literally would pay anybody but them. Now, Seidler says she will work to get her money back next week. She also says she is in a Facebook group with other fans going to the New Orleans concerts. Others in that group have said they have had the same issue with the Lafayette Hotel. If we hear back from hotel management or their owner, we will let you know. Lauren.